short video. This is the, this is a little breaker box I put in the garage. This gray wire in the back here is the feeder. That's a 10 gauge wire, but it's on a 20 amp breaker out of the house. That's to a light, and that's to an outlet. So that's one, one breaker for this one circuit for the light and the outlet. 220 is not used there, but what I mainly want to talk about here is this is because this comes out of the house out of the breaker box. This is now considered a sub panel, which means that it kind of its name applies, it's underneath the main panel or wired to the main panel, which is wired to the meter. So, you in the case of a sub panel, it's a little bit different in the main panel, like in the house, you have the Ground here in the neutral all bonded together in the same bus bar but in the sub panel you don't do that so this one didn't originally have it so I had to put this ground lug bar in here which is connected to the case connected to the house there connected to the both circuits neutral separate that goes to the house and the hats obviously they're going into the breaker and the from what I understand, the reasoning behind this is that say this is two 20 amp breakers, say you have a motor or something on it that's taking 10 amps. What you would get if the ground and the neutral are joined here is because the electricity takes the path from least resistance and because of parallel circuits, if you had a ground in the, in the neutral joined they would the current say you it's like 10 amps you'd have couldn't have five amps on the neutral five amps on the ground wire and then say something happens in the ground wire you could have arcing issues you could have a faulty ground or god forbid somebody decides to they need to fix the ground they assume it's dead and they touch it and they're touching the ground somewhere else or on the ground they're gonna get a shock and with say that 5 amps of the difference that the ground wire is carrying and that's why you don't do that. There's a good demonstration video online on this but I figured I'd add a little bit more of make my own take and show a sub panel looks like. So in this case you have, you have a 5 amp, 10 amp motor you have 10 amps coming in, 10 amps coming out in the neutral and the ground should never be live unless there is a ground fault. So that's the only time that should be live. And that's why a sub panel is not joined to the... Or a sub panel, the ground and neutral are not bonded. But the ground is bonded to the frame. That's all it should be bonded to on a sub panel. The neutral is always separate from the ground, unlike the main panel.